real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Amanda Barnett rented a house from the defendant, and six months later, the defendant became her roommate. Amanda claims after the defendant moved in, he started having parties until all hours of the night. And she's suing him today for a security deposit. Defendant Justin Adrian says when he first met Amanda, he thought she was a good, responsible, church-going girl. However, after he moved into the home, Justin discovered that Amanda used Bible study as a way to meet men and bring them home. He's countersuing for property damage. Start with you. Okay. So a little bit of backstory. I found the listing on Craigslist. Um, it's going to be two bedroom, one bathroom, <clears throat> me, one other roommate. Um, her dog was currently living at the house. I fully disclosed that I was bringing my two dogs. Um, lived there for about six months and then um, Benjamin, goes by Justin, um, moved in uh, in October. So at that point, uh, he was also my roommate and landlord. And how was your tenancy there? Um, it definitely changed the dynamic of how I was living in the house. Um, what it, was it that changed? What changed was that uh, there was parties, there was you know happenings all the time into late into the hours. Did you ever mention hours. anything? Yes. And what was the response? Um, it would quiet down for like maybe five minutes and then it would kind of go back into... This is every time? Not necessarily every single time, but at least twice a week, I feel like it would be, you know, How often hey, did you mention it to him? At least twice a week. Okay. And he still ignored it? Yeah. All right. Plaintiff Amanda Barnett is suing her former landlord, who claims Amanda used Bible study as a way to meet men. How long did you live there? I lived there for one full year. All right. Sir? Um, I did meet Miss Barnett through Craigslist. Um, <clears throat> first impression, you know, great girl, easy to get along with, professional. Um, thought we would work out well together. Um, and, you know, she was very religious, went to Bible study and all that stuff. <laughs> um, came to find out she really wasn't the same girl that I met the first time. Um, what was different? She was, I mean, using these cute, innocent things like Bible study to actually pick up guys and bring them home. Bringing um, them home? <clears throat> yes. My kind of Bible study. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Would they get on their knees? And <laughs> have prayer? No! <clears throat> and have prayer? <laughs> Behind closed doors, I mean. <laughs> okay. You all pray together? Occasionally. Okay. What were the other occasions? What did you do? Well, you know. No, I don't know. <laughs> were you all sinning when you bring those men home? Yeah. Okay. I'll go ahead and admit to that. See, at least she's honest. That's one thing. You <laughs> How does this don't have pertain? to ask for forgiveness for that for a lie you might have otherwise told. <laughs> Good. Go ahead, sir. The day that she moved in, I moved down to Texas to further my career as a chef. Um, I was down there for about I believe six months um, and during that time her overall neglect of her two dogs um, and the house itself um, destroyed the house um, and the damages are well over the court maximum of $5,000. Okay. All right tell me why you're still for the security deposit. Because the, I never got notice that I was going to not retain my security deposit. How much was it? It is a total of $800. Mm -hmm. And the 2400 is for what? In Colorado, if I don't get notice within 30 days, um, I'm allowed to, in my rights, sue for triple. So. All right, you have that law? Some states <coughs> do have that. Let's see if Colorado was one of them. It was to be returned to you when? April 30th. <coughs> when did you move out? April 1st. Okay, and with his approval and yes. understanding? Yes. All right. Sir? In the lease, it, uh, the $800, $600 was for the security deposit, $200 was a non-refundable pet deposit. Um, every roommate I've had, I've had uh, six All right, what about returning it to her? That's <clears throat> what she's suing you about. Uh, yes, on April 16th, 16 days after she moved out, I sent this letter to her Just stating it, the damages. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and this will... What is that you have? <clears throat> this is the second letter I sent mm -hmm. to her. Um, she you received these letters? <clears throat> Uh, s s after 
she moved out, I sent the first letter on the How 16th. did you send them to her? By mail. Okay, not registered mail? No, sir. Okay, so she <clears> can do just mistake. like she's doing today. Act like she didn't get it. She lived three houses down from mine. Mm -hmm. um, so the first letter I sent there. So April 23rd, she came back and <clears throat> brought a, another gentleman with her. Um, and there was three witnesses there, which to have what? statements from them saying that to she came To remove property? In, uh, yes, sir. And How to much? bring back property that she had taken. Okay, <clears throat> ma'am, you had taken property that didn't belong to you? Um, I, not knowingly. And it, did you bring some back to him? Yes, I brought Well, then that back. means you did take some. That was my only question. <clears throat> Sorry. And you have no way to prove uh, that you did not receive it on the 17th and 25th. I have a letter from the owner of the location that I moved to during in April, as well as a postmark. Saying that he knows you didn't get your security deposit. Saying that I never received mail at the address that <clears throat> Justin claims that he sent those letters to. Oh, okay. I also have a postmark. You didn't live there? I did live there. Okay, so the landlord says he didn't get them or he didn't see them, but you could have gotten them. You could have gotten them out of the mail yourself. The landlord didn't have to get them. You could have gotten them. I didn't. All right, but this isn't proof that you didn't. He wouldn't get your mail. It's okay. <clears throat> I, never, I never actually collected the mail from the mailbox because I did not anticipate getting any mail from anyone. No one knew you lived there? Not anybody would, that would be sending me mail except for Justin. Okay. It was a temporary How do you know who would be sending you mail? It was for a month. It was supposed to be temporary, so I hadn't changed my But address. other people knew you lived there. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Your Honor, when she came back to drop off that stuff, mm -hmm. I told her in person the reasons why she wasn't getting her deposit back, um, and there was witnesses there. Um, along with that, she asked me to remail it to her new address, and I did. Plaintiff Amanda Barnett is suing her former landlord, who claims Amanda used Bible study as a way to meet men. What made you ask him to remail it? Because I, he claimed that he mailed it once, and mm -hmm. I have no proof that he didn't. So okay, right. remail and it. You have no proof today that he didn't the first time, right? True. Okay, well then your claim is dismissed. Five thousand dollars for property damage. How does she owe you that? The yard is the main thing I'm suing for today. All right, you have uh, pictures of the yard. <coughs> These are the before and after pictures the yard, of the yard. And the estimates for what she did before. to the yard. Yes, I do, right here, Your Honor. Okay, and there um, were how many people living there? Uh, herself and another roommate, um, Mr. And you? Van Tassel. I was living there one day. Okay, a week. so why are we attributing all the damage <coughs> to the yard to her? Um, I have witness statements that, that she, they saw her every day messing up the yard. <laughs> No, Your Honor, I have witness statements from Say all of what? the tenants that were there and neighbors that Saying were there. Saying that she's the only one they ever saw in the yard. His have a good day, a sir. Your claim is dismissed also. You have three people living there. How are you going to allege that this woman committed all the damage to the yard? You all have a good day. Bye-bye. I just hope this brings your level of maturity up a little bit. I don't think there's anything to say.